Masha's Tales. Today, I'm not going to tell you guys a story. No, I'll do much better. I'll paint it. A long time ago, there was somebody with hands and legs and a round body. Nothing weird but his beard. It's so strange, I really have no clue why I painted my beard blue. I mean, not mine, of course, but this man's beard. Bluebeard. One fine morning, a man by the name of Bluebeard was walking in the forest. He was singing a song he'd written just a few minutes before. Ta da ta da ta da da ta da ta da ta da ta da ta da ta 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 thinking about how he'd already eaten breakfast and how lunch was far from being cooked. Suddenly, Bluebeard reached a clearing in the forest. In the clearing stood a small house. I'll paint it for you right now. There were sunflowers all around the house, and there were carrots painted on the window shutters. If I am understanding this correctly, thought Bluebeard, these carrot mean this house belongs to the rabbit. And the rabbit is not a bad host at all. And the good host is always happy to invite his guests to lunch. Bluebeard wasted no time. He went straight to the door and knocked. Hey, hey, knock, knock, is anyone home? Knock, knock, open the door. No one answered. Maybe everyone in there was asleep. Bluebeard knocked on the door again. And again. Bluebeard knocked on the door with his fist. He kicked the door with his feet. Finally, the window shutters opened. In the window appeared a very pretty girl whose eyes were as blue as the sky. For some reason, I also painted her hair blue. I don't know why I did that. Stop knocking on my door, said the girl. You better come in and have some cocoa. Bluebeard got so excited when he saw the food that he ran right inside, sat down, and started eating. The blue-haired girl was really surprised when she saw this. How is it possible, she thought, to eat a whole cake in one go? and swallow it without even chewing it. Or stick your fingers in the dish of jam, as if that wasn't bad enough, and then lick your fingers one by one. Ew, you have such bad manners, said the girl. Uh-huh, mumbled Bluebeard. And then reaching for another piece of cake, she overturned the cup of cocoa. A brown spot started to appear on the white linen tablecloth, and it slowly took the shape of a horse. Then Bluebeard used his fingers to draw a pretty tail for this horse. The girl with the blue hair did not appreciate this kind of artistic freedom taking, and she said through tears, You're behaving like a naughty little boy. You have to be punished right now. I have to lock you up in the dark basement. The house that the girl lived in had many rooms, and you could go into any room except for the dark basement, that is. Well, I'm in deep trouble, that's what Bluebeard thought as he sat in the dark basement. Looks like I will have to stay here forever and be hungry too. He looked around the basement for some food, and suddenly he saw a stove with a burning fire. Hanging above the fire with a pot, and there was something quite tasty cooking inside it. Bluebeard tried to put his hand under the lid, but as it turned out, the oven, the fire, and the pot were all painted on an old canvas. This old canvas was hanging over a secret door. Surprised, Bluebeard decided to pull the door handle. The secret door was open, and Bluebeard saw that this closet was shock full of tasty treasures, he rubbed his eyes in disbelief. As Bluebeard happily gobbled up a sandwich with peanut butter and jam and honey, he thought about what had happened and said, 
If not for that picture, I would have lost my poor beard. No, I mean my poor head. That's what I'm telling you. When you're feeling like all is lost, a true artistic masterpiece can help lift up your spirit. Oh, oh, oh.